problems with EV batteries. No doubt electric vehicles have revolutionized the car industry by reducing the resilience on fossil fuels. Not only do you not have to deal with the fluctuating expensive gas prices, but you get feature-packed experiences that can't be replicated by gas vehicles. Alas, with the popularity of electric cars comes the downside of current battery technology. Imagine going on a road trip without a charging station in sight. Range anxiety, especially on long commutes, is common in the industry. Some may be cautious due to the explosive nature of lithium batteries, with some EV fires being forefront in the news. Welcome back to AutoTech, and today we'll be discussing the problems with the current battery technology. Batteries are the most expensive component in an electric car. They're also the most important part of any EV, serving as the electric fuel tank. Without batteries, we don't have electric vehicles. Automotive companies and environmentalists market electric vehicles as one of the solutions to environmental problems including climate change and air pollution. With their electric powertrains, EVs produce zero carbon emissions. However, electric vehicles have a dirty secret. The lithium and cobalt inside EV car batteries destroy the environment and have human rights implications. What is the environmental impact of lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles? Electric vehicles hold much promise for addressing environmental issues. However, as currently built, EVs contribute to the problem in ways that many people might not even realize. As detailed by the Institute of Energy Research, lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles have a considerable negative impact on the environment. Land degradation through mining and water contamination. Lithium mining requires a massive amount of water, which is increasingly in short supply throughout many regions of the world. Approximately 500,000 gallons of water is used for every ton of lithium mined. To extract lithium, miners would need to drill a hole in salt flats and pump salty, mineral-rich brine to the surface. After several months, the water then evaporates, thereby exposing lithium and other minerals. Some places, like the Lithium Triangle in South America, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, contain more than half of the world's supply of lithium. The region is also very dry. In Chile's Salar de Atacama, lithium mining consumes 65% of the region's water. The problem has gotten so bad that farmers and other locals have to get water elsewhere. In addition to using a great deal of water, lithium mining causes water, soil, and air pollution. Toxic chemicals like hydrochloric acid used in the mining process can leak from evaporation pools and contaminate the surrounding area. Another problem regarding lithium-ion batteries is the high amount of lithium waste. For example, in Australia, only 2% of the country's 3,300 metric tons of lithium batteries get recycled. Battery waste typically ends up in landfills, where it can potentially leak into the environment and can't be reused. One of the basic human rights, as defined by the United Nations, is access to safe, sufficient, and affordable water, sanitation, and hygiene facilities. With this in mind, lithium mining for EV car batteries can be considered a violation of human rights. In addition to lithium, other minerals used in EV car batteries is cobalt. Unfortunately, though, cobalt mining has many of the same negative environmental impacts as lithium. This includes water, soil, and air pollution. Problems with EV batteries Temperature sensitivity Lithium-ion batteries are temperature sensitive and must not be exposed to extremely high or low temperatures. This also goes for the battery packs that are included in electric cars. Other than exterior weather temperatures, the EV's battery can become hot during charging or discharging. Extremely hot battery temperatures when charging can signal a dying or faulty battery pack. It's recommended not to expose your EV battery to extremely high heat or very cold conditions for extended periods of time. This ensures a longer lifespan for your battery and better operating conditions. Electric car batteries work best in optimal temperatures between 65 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Faulty or damaged separator. The main purpose of the separator in a battery is to separate the anode and cathode without affecting the ions. Unfortunately, manufacturers sometimes make these separators too thin. As the battery undergoes normal wear and tear, the thin separator gets damaged and the battery becomes unstable. This then leads to the anode and cathode of the battery making contact. When the anode and cathode of the battery come in contact, this short circuits the battery and it may explode or catch on fire. The separator can also get damaged from overcharging for long periods. Long charging times. Because EV battery packs are so big and carry a lot of capacity, they can take quite a long time to charge. 
having to wait for hours for an electric car to charge poses a problem for owners of EVs. With the advancement of technology in the EV industry, it's apparent that they're moving to make more efficient batteries. Manufacturers are now trying to shorten charging times by increasing the amount of watts a charger can output. Back in the day, electric vehicles used to have long charging times without any fast charging options. Nowadays, some charging times have exceeded as low as 30 minutes for an 80% charge. EV manufacturers are now making it clear for car buyers to understand how to charge and take care of their batteries. Certain charging practices can extend the life and performance of your EV's batteries. There are now fast chargers that allow for charging times approaching the realm of filling up a gas tank. These are much faster than the traditional 120 volt house charger. Modern EVs come with an entertainment system to make charging times go by faster. Infotainment systems now include games and interactive apps to keep you busy while waiting for the car to charge. Tesla is the industry leader when it comes to in-car entertainment. Tesla's vehicles come packed with multiple games and media options that help turn that 30 minute pit stop into something fun. Long charging times is a big barrier to entry when customers are looking for a car. As charging times lower and range extends, electric vehicles will become ever more enticing for first-time EV buyers. Internal Electrical Imbalance Electrical imbalance is when a battery goes through many charge and discharge cycles. If the discharge is too deep within a short space of time, the battery may short circuit. When overcharging, the battery heats up quite rapidly and might damage the separator. The separator keeps the positive and negative side of the battery apart. There are other sensitive electrical components in the battery, such as the anode and cathode, and cells. These have to be working in optimal conditions at all times, which can sometimes be challenging with various weather patterns. A damaged separator due to under or over volting is rendered damaged and can even lead to an explosion. The separator is volatile and deep charging can damage it from the heat produced. Another instance where the battery experiences electrical imbalance is when it falls from a high position. The fall can dislocate some of the wiring and components in the battery and ultimately damage the separator. Difficult to recycle Electric car batteries are a marvelous piece of engineering and have come a long way in both design and efficiency. However, it is becoming difficult to recycle and safely dispose of the battery. The materials in the cells of the battery pack include nickel, manganese, and cobalt. These raw materials are not considered environmentally friendly. It's widely known that electrical cars are much safer for the environment than their gas engine counterparts. They have way fewer emissions being put out into the atmosphere. It's still difficult to process end-of-life electric car batteries and recycle them properly. Fortunately, there is still a market for large battery packs that cannot perform in an electric car. Battery packs that have reached their end of life can be reused to power machinery. They can also be used as a power storage source for solar systems. At the moment, only about 5% of EV batteries go through a full recycling process. The industry and sector are very small, but there's a lot of potential for growth. It's no secret that EVs are here to stay and that advancements in technology will continue to grow. There are some rather new battery technologies on the market that may provide a solution to our current problem in the future. If you'd like to learn more about the future of batteries, check out our video about solid-state batteries. How do you think EV manufacturers and engineers could improve batteries and the impact on the planet? Let us know your comment in the section below. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Until next time, thanks for watching Auto Tech.